I'm uh, JB's dad. I have another episode here. This is some of my uh, fossils and old relics. First, I'd like to start off with these rocks up here. These were all I, I got personally up in northwestern PA. Uh, you can see all the different fossils on. It, it used to be like a sea, the bottom of a sea, so you can see all the little fossils. Awesome. Okay. This here is a trilobite fossil. Okay, they, they were around for millions and millions of years through all, all the ages of dinosaurs, trilobites. They kind of look like a snail. If you look at the... They lived in the ocean, and they had the, the tentacles kind of out like a like an octopus or something like that. But they were trilobite, like millions and millions of years old. And this is a piece of That's shale so with ferns in it. You can see there must have been so many ferns that turn to stone. So it's like fossilized under, underbrush. Yeah, millions and millions of years old. That's awesome. Here's a couple little fossils I have. I, I like these guys. This is my little fish. It's like it, it, it looks like it's in sand. So it's yeah. just like and my little shrimp. I love shrimp. So th th this is one of my <laughs> favorite. You know, it's a little shrimp fossil. That's sweet. Okay. Okay. Then these are a, a lot of my stuff. I have documentation on its uh, authenticity. Like this are dinosaur eggshell fragments. See, 88 to 70 million years ago, some kind of dinosaur eggshells. You can pause and read if you wish. These are bone fragments from, I'm not sure what dinosaur. It's from the Smoky Mountains, found in Utah. Just basic yeah. dinosaur fossils, yeah. yeah. And this is a big, the bad boy of all. The T-Rex. The T-Rex, T-Rex bone fossilized. Bone fragment, and then I guess I can go from the T Rex into the but Jurassic Park. So everyone knows T Rex from Jurassic Park, and if you saw any of the Jurassic Parks, you know the ones that teeth like this, the Velociraptors. Velociraptor. Velociraptor teeth fossilized in part of the jaw. Now well, this, this is this is on like a whole stone. Yeah, that was dug out. And if you saw Jurassic Park, was it two, where the Spinosaurus killed the the T Rex? This is a Spinosaurus tooth. Now this probably this you wasn't see an the adult. Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus. Then if you saw the latest Jurassic Park, the Mosasaurus. Yeah, Mosasaurus. That giant sea creature that like eats everything. This is fossilized teeth. From one of those so it jumps out and eats that great white shark or whatever that yeah. ancient shark okay that's a little jurassic park section yeah this is but... my, my, my jurassic park section because i love jurassic park keep moving on okay now we'll go on to uh meteors i have some meteor fragments from different continents from asia russia some of them are, are Metallic and some more like just like rock and see what they are meteor crater northern Arizona. We were there. Yeah, I have this is from the meteor crater This is some of the dust from the crater <laughs> And some of the pulverized stone from the cr meteor crater. We were there. That was, that was awesome. Yeah, that was an awesome vacation yeah. And th this is a Russian meteor, right? You can see it looks like it's like metal It's like metal and this is from a meteorite from Argentina, and that looks kind of like metal too. It's like a little little piece of little piece of metal. You can pause and read if you want. Yeah. And this, I I love this, love this. This is a piece of Libyan desert glass. Okay, somewhere in ancient history, a meteorite hit in the Sahara Desert, and it made turned to sand into glass. And the Egyptians used to go and get pieces of glass and they would make jewelry out of it. Here's some ancient fossil shark teeth. One of okay. them of which is the Megalodon. Yeah, we'll get to him. <laughs> this is the big boy. This is probably like a great white would have been, I don't know. 
back in the time, but these are different sizes. But then, like, like the sand, these are Megalodon teeth. The smaller one and the bigger one. Now That's the, the, crazy. These sharks were, like, they could swallow a car whole. I mean, they were huge. And we were playing with these earlier, and the edge is so, it's still yeah, serrated. Yeah, the serrated edge on these. This giant megalodon tooth. Just look at all the serrations that are still on this megalodon tooth. Like a freaking Leatherman saw. <laughs> all right, anyway. Yeah, and, and the, you know, the reason why on sharks we only find the teeth, because that's the only bone, because the rest of a shark is made out of cartilage. It yeah. just, it, it, There's no actual bones in yeah, sharks. Except, except for, for the teeth. So yep. That's why we find... Look at this other one. And this one's probably, it obviously appears to be older or not as in good shape as that one, but still, you, there's still serrations. There's still serrations. Anyway, what next? Okay, now to, uh, okay, we went from dinosaurs, now to humans. Humans? When did humans. they come along? Yeah, okay, they, <laughs> they came along. That's a big debate oh, with yeah. the, uh, the young earth theory. Yeah. <laughs> I want to show, oh, this is one thing. This is some f fossilized uh, tree that I, I actually found up in the... Uh, fossilized little, tree bark? Yeah. See, you can see, like, it's, it's like a stick. It's fossilized. This is all That's the pieces awesome. that, that I, I, I found up in north-central PA. Okay, now the humans. This is a, a tool. I'm not sure what it was used for, but it fits perfect in your hand. You can see the... Th Three fingers there, and the thumb there. I'm not sure it was, it was for scraping flesh after the you know the, the 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 hides or the skins or whatever. I'm not sure. It could have been for food processing. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? But it like fits perfect in your hand. Okay, I'm not sure what this is, but I'm pretty sure it's man-made because it kind of fits in your hand, your fingers. Like to, to grind corn or grains or something like that. I'm not looks exactly like it sure. definitely. Yeah. It looks ergonomic. Yeah, it, it's which just... which with these stone tools and stuff would come over time after. Yeah. It just it after just, yeah. It kind of fits in your hand like that. Okay, I'm not sure. Now I will move on to arrowheads. These are Neanderthal arrowheads. From like forty-five thousand years ago, roughly. You, know, you see that they're kind of crude. See that there's a nice one. You can see it, it was chipped. It's this is all flint. Yeah. It's chipped. Here's like a spear point. Neanderthal, or Neanderthal, however you say it. But yeah, these are like all really early crude. It's so crazy to think about. Like you're holding those right now. And some and some Neanderthal all maybe forty thousand years, years ago. Forty thousand years ago, he made that they, they, so he could they, provide food. They, they chipped these into pieces. That's so crazy. Seriously, so th that's these are crazy. Er, er, earlier Neanderthal, and then these are later Neanderthal ones, but they they kind of look a little bit more Native American. Yeah, but they, these are still the, the Neanderthal ones. These are a nice arrowhead spear point, whatever. That's crazy that they had to make their arrowheads out of rock. Yeah. See that that that's a nice that's a nice Yeah. That's a really nice one. Then if you get into like the Cro-Magnum in Europe, you can see they were much more highly developed. Precise. They're precise. like surgical look, instruments. Yeah, yeah, look, see yeah, they were like Perfectly made. Look, this one has like little serrations. On yeah, it. they put chips so like yeah. shred the flesh. The, the, these are like Cro Magnum, and these two guys, these are Neanderthal hand axes. This one's older. This is probably forty five thousand, and they chipped it out of granite. And it was just to, to to cut wood, whatever, cut bone. Yeah, because what whatever. Were, what else were they going to use? Yeah. Other then, than rock. This is my favorite. This is a, a later Neanderthal. 
you can see where it was chipped all the way around and made into a hand axe. This is like probably 30, 35,000 years ago. That one's super cool. Yeah, that I mean, you, you can see this is hand worked. Obviously, and yeah. used. That's not naturally occurring. No. Especially how it fits to your hand. Yeah, it, it does. It just, it just, you know, you, you can use it to cut wood. It could have been to dig with, to cut, yeah, or to, to, to cut your to food whatever. up with. Who knows? But you, you can, you can see it. You know, it's, it's flint, still kind of sharp. That's crazy. So I guess that's a lot. Is that everything? Yeah, I think it is. That's a pretty big table full. Yeah. But this concludes the semi naturally occurring ancient stuff my dad has my dad has a lot more stuff a lot more and he's laughing because he knows how much yeah. more stuff he has that is ancient and not naturally occurring stuff that like coins coins from the emperor marcus aurelius marcus if you ever seen the movie gladiator <laughs> Marcus um, Aurelius, but, Commodus. So that is an entire video in and of itself. And this is just a short video of, well, didn't really run that short, but this is just a video of a lot of the fossils and his highlights of Neanderthal arrowheads. Jurassic Native Park. Native American right here arrowheads. <laughs> Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park right stuff. Here. Jurassic Park. <laughs> and, uh,. Yeah, just everything ancient that he has that are his highlights. He has probably triple this. Um, yeah. Have a good one. Okay, thanks. Thanks.